I'm asked in this problem to complete the table and in each row I'm either given an exponential function or information that should enable me to write an exponential function. So let's start with the first row. I have y equals 812 times 0 0.71 raised to the t power. The b value here is where I'm going to start. That is my factor of either growth or decay. And in this case, because my b value is less than 1 and bigger than 0, that is a decay factor. My a is right here. That's my initial value. That's 812. Because I have a decay equation, to find the rate of decay, I need to subtract the b value from 1. If I do that, I get 0 0.29, which is my decimal representation for the rate of decay. To make that into a percent, I need to move the decimal to the right two places. This is 29%. So this equation represents an equation that has a 29% rate of decay. Looking at the second row, again, I'm going to start with the b value, 1.32. And because b is greater than 1, that is a growth equation. My a value is 64.5. To identify the rate of growth, I take the b value and subtract 1. So notice the difference when I have a growth equation I take the b value minus 1. When I have a decay equation, I take 1 minus the b value. So here I have 0 0.32. Writing that in percent form is 32%. So this 64.5 times 1.32 to the t is a 32% growth equation. Looking at the third row, I'm given some information that I can use to write an equation. I know it's a growth equation, which means my b value is going to be bigger than 1. I have an initial value of 8.24, so I can start my equation as 8.24 and then times something that's going to be my value for b. To determine the b value, I'm going to go over here to the rate. This is a growth rate. Currently, it is displayed as a percent. To turn that into a decimal, I need to divide by 100, which gives me 0 0.005. Because this is growth, to find the b value, I'm going to add 1 to that number. So my r value, my point didn't show up, there it is. And so my b value is 1.005. So I'm going backwards from the process that I used up here. My b value then can be inserted, 1.005, and my exponent is t. At the last row, the fourth row, looking at that one now, I have a decay equation which means that b is going to be between 0 and 1. My a value is 150, so I can start my equation. Going over to my, in this case, decay rate of 20%, that is 0 0.20 as a decimal. Because this is a decay, I'm going to subtract that from 1 to find the b value. So 1 minus 0 0.20 equals 0 0.80. That is my b value. And that is going to go inside the parentheses raised to the t power. So I have y equals. 150 times 0 0.80 to the t as my decay equation. 